Ah, hello. Hi. Let me actually get close to the mic so you can hear me. Hello. How are you? Everything should be up. And I forgot to type out my announcement beforehand. Put two. Wait, waiting for that girl. Murder time. Okay, everything should be good. Everything should be up. Everything should be fine. Let me. So. Let me adjust all of my screens on my second monitor because that's what I have to do. Nice thumb. Thank you. If you check all of, if you actually, if you check the, um, the playlist, which I have in an iCard, wrong corner, in this corner, uh, you can look at all the thumbnails, uh, all of them are updated. First one's, uh, the regular, um, Hajime, however, all of the rest have been updated. Second, Snagito, third is Byakua, fourth is Gundam, fifth is Soda, uh, sixth is, um, uh, Taro Taro, uh, seventh is Nekamaro, and today's is, uh, I want to say, not Kazuichi, uh, Fudge, uh, what's his name? Oh, God, what's his name? I forget his name. Why do I forget his name? Fugihiko, Fugihiko, thank you. Also, welcome to the stream, Jojo and Zap. How are you? Let me boot up the game so I have everything at the ready. I'm, yeah, that, I, I, sorry about that. I just want, I knew that I, I had been needing to do it for a while. And I just wanted to do it just to finally get out of the way, get everything prepared. Um, I'm going to have to do the same thing to the second, I mean, to the first game. Because, I mean, they're nice and all, but they're all, they're all the same Makoto. So I probably want to update that. Also, is it, do I have exactly 15? No, I have 14. Okay, that means that one person's gonna have to get dropped. Goodbye, Despair. Could you, like, open, please? It's- there we go. Okay, it was, like, glitched or something. That was weird. Okay, but how is everybody doing? I hope everything is doing- everybody is doing swell. I have chat so I can type. I have my- also, I added the, um, my Twitter- uh, the Twitter timer, so that should be going. I also added the, um, command, exclamation point Twitter to just bring up my Twitter as well. So, that's a thing. Goodbye, Despair. Could you, like, actually come up, please? It's, it's, what are you, it, it says it's running. There we go. Hello. There we go. Also, for everybody that voted no on sweatpants, boom, sweatpants, suck it. I'm wearing them now, and you can't do anything about it. Aha! I... Also, I'm going to have to grab a thing of water. Okay, hold on. I'm going to go grab a, a water, because that's something that I'm going to need if I'm going to be reading stuff out loud. Let's do this, sucker. 
hello, welcome, uh, <laughs> welcome to the stream, Lucifer, how are you? How is everybody? Happy to your Twitter anniversary. As usual, well, even if I say that, it doesn't matter anymore because I greeted the morning without having slept at all. Um, that's not good for you, I, I say as I'm running on like four hours of sleep. <laughs> Bro, I tried, I went to sleep at 1 because I had to write a uh, paper essay, I had to write, God, you know how tired I am, I'm calling it a paper essay. I had to write a uh, history essay for uh, AP World. Um, I still have to write two more. It's a blast. No, let me, okay, hold on. Also, like, I was thinking about what I wanted to play, and just the more I thought about it, the more I was like, I... I loved playing it last time so much, and I feel like I'm in the same mood, so I wanted to play it again. Because <laughs> Friday was a freaking blast, but... Okay. This is... I'm just making sure it doesn't have my name. My full name, because that would be bad. Okay, it doesn't, so... This is... Let me let me go to this. Yee Yee, welcome to the stream, hell. This is... As it, like, adjusts, um... This is, this is the first essay, I mean, this is, this is all the same essay, it's just three, it's a bunch of words, it is, it is a lot. In the Middle Ages, the Catholic Church was a major influence on the social, political, and economic spheres of Europe. Adjust glasses, okay, but I greet this, greet this morning without having slept at all. And I should probably switch it back to the screen. I really wanted to see somebody, anybody, as fast as I could. Heck, holy frick! Felt like I had to air, uh, share this anxious feeling with someone. I just couldn't deal with it alone. I should go to the restaurant for now. Okay, so, if I remember correctly, this is where things pick up. He breathed. Reach rank <laughs> to tell you to switch. Nope. On it. I can see the preview in the corner. That's why I have everything set up correctly. Okay. So, last stream was mainly just going around, having a good time, partying with some folks. I mean, we had like an actual rock party at the end. Um, however, this stream is basically investigation part one. But before any murders actually happen, and you will see why. I'm gonna talk to Fuyuhiko because- Yo! Yo! Because, um, you're actually on the, uh, thumbnail. What's up, idiot? Oh, it's- Oh, it's you, Hajime. Huh. huh. Even if it's such an abnormal situation, people get- still Damn get hungry. Hekamaru. What that bastard mean by his final firework? That line's more suited to a Yakuza, anyway. Nekomaru must have wanted to protect Kane at all costs, just like how Pekka wanted to protect you. you. Shut up! Don't say another word! Sorry. Just go on ahead to the restaurant, I'll come later. Fuhiko. Hajime <laughs> dies in fin- <gasps> SPOILERS! Um, excuse you, that is rude, and I'm just holding my vitamin water like a basic white girl. Hold on, let me take off the label, because we aren't sponsored here. Although, I will gladly be sponsored if anyone can hook me up. Please. The Titanic. God! Okay, listen, listen, stop with this one. But welcome to. Uh, welcome, I need a name gaming to the stream. Also, hell, if I didn't say welcome to the stream, welcome to the stream. You have been welcomed. Hi. I'd be down for a Pokemon Cinematic Universe. I hope the tech of Pikachu is good. As I was walking to the restaurant, I suddenly stopped. <laughs> I feel very welcomed. If you don't feel welcomed, you're out of the stream. You're banned. <laughs> Sob sniffle. I heard the sound of a girl crying inside the restaurant. <laughs> I hear crying. Is someone crying? Mikan, or is that Hyoko? This <laughs> <laughs> I peeked inside and quietly walked into the restaurant. So this is where things pick up. <laughs> <laughs> I 
dude, okay, no. I, I get ban hammer, but a hammer isn't cool enough. I, I say we change it to the ban shotgun so that every single time, like, someone, like, just imagine, like, yanking, oh, ban chainsaw, you just, like, yank it from under the desk. Vroom! Bad take. <laughs> Just do. Ban bomb. It's just the nuke, huh? <laughs> Kane, you're the one who's crying. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna have to turn you down again, okay? Oh, okay. Also, <laughs> Kane's thumbnail is going to be. Interesting. So, you know how everyone has like the special illustrations for them? Akane's has a panty shot. So, I'm having to like do uh, a PG 13 move where it's like exact placement to where it's like the person's nude but you have that like convenient plant leaf right there or something like that you have the convenient person just sitting right in front of them to like block it so i already have the position set up so everything should be covered but oh boy <laughs> I, I i'm scared what's gonna happen to us i don't feel like Ah, I'm scared! What, what happened? Could she be in shock about what happened to Nekomaru? But yesterday, she was acting braver. Kane, you good, fam? Okay, you ain't good, fam. What, what happened to Kane? It's not like you to cry. Gr get a grip on yourself! <laughs> Ajme just like takes it. <gasps> just like, just starts slapping her. I don't know what to do anymore! I mean, when Nekomaru get killed, you know? W what are you saying? It's not like Nekomaru's dead yet. Also, you miss Nekomaru getting shot by a bazooka. Yep, that happens. I I'm scared. I don't want this anymore. Let me go back home. <laughs> it's like you've never been murdered before. Like, come on. She must be sh in shock that Nekomaru sacrificed himself for her. No, there's no way to explain the change this sudden and drastic. Yeah, but like, she gets, uh, Nekomaru gets straight up shot with the bazooka. Hey, what happened to Akane? Isn't she acting kind of weird? I see. Hajime, be careful! That's probably not the real Fuyuhiko! Huh? I know! The real Fuyuhiko is already dead! That's, that's why, that's probably Fuyuhiko's clone! Y you, what are you saying? Hey. Also, I heard from Monokuma that Nekomaru couldn't be saved. It's unfortunate, but transfer student is apparently going to come so come soon as a replacement. <laughs> so let's all give that person a warm welcome. You are messing around. It's the truth. I'm not messing around. I always speak the what? truth. In order to prove it, I'll explain to you, explain it specially to you. Listen carefully. Listen carefully, Hajime. I fi finally discovered who the traitor is. <laughs> You know, the identity of World Ender. The traitor is hiding among us is... No Byakua! That's right, Byakua is alive! He's been weird from the start, but... Isn't he acting much weirder than usual? Alright, and then we have Fioko over here. Hey! Hey, it's definitely best if we keep Nagito tied up! No, not just tied up! No. Jesus Christ. I can't wait to read this little fun voice. I won't be satisfied until I peel the skin off his face and expose the meat so we can't identify him anymore. That that doesn't sound very gentle. Did he do something to you? That idiot, he lied to me about my hero being alive and said he saw her in the movie theater. Well, why is he telling such a pointless lie? I don't know. I, I hate being lied to. Jeez. I won't feel satisfied until his joints are bent at awkward angles. It'd probably be a waste of time to find out the reason for each little thing Nagito does, but I don't get this at all. Why do you have to tell such an outrageous lie? Pardon me, everyone, but do you have some time to spare? Hello. My name is Ibuki Miyoda. 
I mean, it may be rude of me, but I would like to say my greetings the first thing in the morning. Good morning! I look forward to working with all of you today. Uh, Ibuki? Yes, I am Ibuki Biota. Aren't you acting strange too? Wait! Be careful, Ibuki! Hajime's dangerous! He wants to kill you and eat you! W what are you saying? Yes. Mr. Hajime, I am not tasty! Please don't eat me! He's obviously lying! I see, so it was a lie! It's the truth! It's not a lie, I never tell lies! Understood! I see! So it's not a lie! It may be necessary for me to beg for my life after all! W what the heck is this? Akane, Nagito, Buki, they're all acting strange, what's going on? Um, did they go crazy or something? It would be strange to go crazy in a situation like this. Oh my god, Mikan's voice, here I go. Let's do it. That's not it! Ibuki, she has an extremely high fever. That's probably the cause. That's weird. Before you start talking, I want you to tell me something. Who the hell are you? Oh Why have you forgotten me? I'm Mikan Sumaki. <laughs> anyway, please try touching her forehead. If you do, you'll see what I mean. Her hand, my hand to her forehead? Ibuki, just a second. Understood. In exchange, please spare my life. I softly place my hand on Ibuki's forehead while she continues to spout gibberish. She, she's hot! I mean, we already knew this because, uh, Ibuki best girl, but, you know, I feel like it's in a slightly different, uh, connotation. W what is this? The, the seat is abnormal! It's almost like the body shouldn't be at this high of a heat. Like... Whoa! <laughs> That's right! She has a terribly high fever! Then could the others? Akane, let me feel your forehead, too. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm so weak. I placed my for hand on Akane's forehead while she groaned and kept sobbing. That must be it. She has such a high fever. There's no way that's a normal human body temperature. Nagito, you too. I don't have a fever. I feel extremely great today. I placed my hand on his forehead. Once again, I got the same result. What? What's gonna happen later? Huh? All three of them have fevers? And the reason those guys are such wacky stuff is... Emergency. My goodness, that's obviously bad! Matakuma, for him to appear right now, does that mean this is... Whoa there! Can you wait just a second for the explanation? The others are on their way too! Just as Monokuma said, I heard the sound of pounding footsteps. Everyone who gathered all had confused expressions plastered onto their faces. What's going on? Now what? Hey, hey. I heard it from Matakuma, looks like something strange going on again. Mm -hmm. Did something happen to you guys? I'm a sociopath! <laughs> I saw an old man slip and fall! Hey, what a freaking idiot! The world's funny, I'm a so Yeah, sorry. Yes, I do remember what happens. I do, I do, I do. I don't want to, but I do. Well, I'll get into once this explanation is done. I'll explain why this is my second least favorite. Uh, it's my second least favorite motive in this game. Honestly, the motives in this game are all pretty weak, I guess? They aren't the strongest. I feel like other motives are definitely a lot stronger, but this one I feel is the second weakest. It's an interesting idea, but then the fourth one I absolutely hate, and I'll get into that, uh, I'll get into that later. Looks like everyone's here! Now then, let's start with the explanation! Oh, hold on! Monokuma, you're pulling a prank again, aren't you? And what happens to Nekomaru? Hurry up and return him first, you robber bear! Mm -hmm. Nekomaru, are you talking about that boy who turns into a woman when he gets splashed with water? You who the heck is that? Nekomaru doesn't have a weird ability like that! What is this? I mean, you've had the punches beforehand. What's the face? I'm very I don't confused. Even know what's been done to me, but I feel a mysterious like energy. Well, now. Now that I've shut up the nuisance, let's get back to the topic at hand. Though, I'm pretty sure you guys have already noticed that you're all so quick-witted. So, it's just as I thought, the true identity of this high fever is... That's right. 
right. Nice. Joined in just in time for domestic abuse and animal abuse wrapped into one. Yeah. Welcome to the stream, uh, Nicio. I hope I pronounced that right. That's right. This is the new motive I've given to you. Yee yee, that's it, good. Despair disease? Actually. You know, they're extremely tiny insects that can't be seen with the naked eye living on this island. It's, it's not like I added them recently. I just never told you about them. Hmm. Anyway, the endemic disease spread by these insects is called the despair disease. <laughs> despair disease? I've never heard of such a thing. Well? Then let me tell you about it. As the name suggests, the despair disease is... A really annoying disease where you get a high fever along with the various symptoms that are full of despair. These symptoms are different based on the person. For instance, Nagito is affected by the liar disease. Akane has the coward disease. Ibuki has the gullible disease, I guess. What? They just had to get symptoms that are the opposite of their known personalities, except for Nagito. Hey. It's not like you all you guys are down with the sickness yet. But be careful! Sometimes the despair disease can get passed from person to person just like a cold. You mean it's contagious? <laughs> don't put your guard down just because you don't have the disease. It'd be awful for everyone to get sick. Hey, 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 hey. Let's run, Miss Sonya. It'd be terrible if you got caught with the lowly disease of the common folk. <laughs> That's right, let's run away. I don't want to catch such a weird disease. Why? And why is that a motive? Are you saying that killing will occur soon? After everyone falls into a crazy state? Isn't that quite... Isn't this quite a novel idea? A killing that occurs while everyone has a completely different personality. Think of all the murder tricks! Is there any way to treat it? Why is there a need to treat it? I mean, this despair disease isn't supposed to make you suffer. It's a disease that cures your soft hearts. Your soft hearts towards killing. And with this, you can finally take the plunge and commit murder! You... You... You bastard, you better stop talking about this! <laughs> it's my fault. I'm sorry I'm always bothering you. All right. I've decided, as my apology, I'm going to commit murder. Are there any charcoal briskets somewhere? I'm pretty sure I found some at the supermarket. So stop it, Akani, Nagito, Ibuki, you guys stay put. Hey. You're wrong, I'm not Nagito. To tell you the truth, Nagito come... I forget how to pronounce his last name. Uh, Coco, whatever, is a fake name. I'm sorry to keep it a secret until now. Understood. Oh, I see. What the? She's believing him again. So serious. Amazing. Man, whatever. I feel so great today. This despair disease is awesome. Despair, despair, despair. It's amazing. You all should get it too. If we're all done for. There's no such thing as hope. We all have to die from this despair disease. That's the. Only way. Thunk. Whoa. Make some use. <laughs> Bro, the only reason I would like Terra Terra alive right now is for him to get the despair disease, so he's actually a likable character. Hey! -o! Whoa, he collapsed! <laughs> Nagito! Now that I've given you a new motive, how will things develop? Will the killing start after everyone gets the despair disease? Or even before that? I'm so excited about it, I'm just gonna stand around naked! Just kidding, I'm always naked. Hey! hey. Damn it, Nakamura's incident just happened. Now this? Where did that peaceful mood that lasted until yesterday go? This is bad! Nagito's foaming at the mouth! She's right! I've never seen foam that color before! Impossible! It's an... Infirmary, what the? How do you even pronounce that? It's an infirmary rare color, normally only found in the depths of the nor. I yeah, actually hit the space bar. In the depths of the netherworld sea. In that case, the color doesn't matter, so let's hurry him over to the hospital. Got it. I'll help out. Wait. Um, what should we do about Akane and Ibuki? Anyway. We're definitely gonna bring them too. We don't know what, what they'll do if we leave them alone. Hey, can you walk? Yeah. Allow me to confirm, I just have to alternate the movements of my left and right leg, correct? Hold on, I'll walk so don't leave me. Th then let's go. Mikan's disease would make her less obnoxious and annoy. With the disease in tow and Nagito's condition was clearly worsening, we rushed over to the hospital. But this kind of motive is impossible. An actual despair disease? 
And there's a possibility that might be passed along. What the heck? What should I do? Okay, so this is why I say it's basically the investigation in daily life before the murder actually occurs. Because you don't just... You can't really do anything. And that'll that'll be explained further. But it's kind of weird. After I got to know her... I hated Mekon from the beginning. I just find her annoying. But, uh... Oh, what was I gonna say? Don't remember now, let's continue. I will go make the infected change their clothes, and then I'll have them sleep in the patient rooms. Understood. Understood, so I just have to change my clothes, correct? <laughs> I'm scared of changing. Anyway, everyone else, please wait here. As she supported all three of them with her shoulders, Mekon disappeared into the depths of the hospital. Damn it! I never expected us to get sick. What's gonna happen? Let me tell you. I would not mind if Nagito retired. Permanently. Maybe. Is Mikan gonna personally change their clothes? What's wrong with that? Well... Does that include Nagito? Does that include Nagito too? Isn't that a little bad? <laughs> There's no need to panic. Even I attend to the needs of my four dark demons of destruction. Hey, hey, hey. Don't lump hamsters and teenage boys together. Um... Hey, is this stupid conversation gonna last much longer? <laughs> Cause we should get out. Band! <laughs> get out the band chainsaw! Should we be seriously thinking about what we need to do from now on and stuff? What we need to do from now on? Hmm. Okay. Guess I have to talk to Gyoka. That disease sure looks dangerous. Nagito, Kane, and Ibuki aren't acting normal. It spreads to everyone else, a killing is bound to happen. Let me tell you this. <laughs> get the nuke! Get the sh get the shotgun. Ch -ch -ch. <laughs> so dumb. Nagito's gonna die. Hell. Oh my god. What was I gonna say? Oh, okay. Oh, whatever. Based on their absurd behavior, I cannot deny that. But Excuse me. But those guys are being considerate. I want them to at least have the decency to consider committing suicide before they start bothering us. Hey, Hiyoko. <laughs> I know, it can't be that easy. So it's important to make sure we don't end up catching the disease. M make sure? What do you mean? Jeez! Oh my god, I love that voice line. Jeez, why don't you get it? We need to isolate them from us so they won't spread the disease. Uh, isolate? Yeah. If you can't carry it, the only option is to stop it from spreading. Even a preschooler knows that. But but still, isn't isolating them a bit too harsh? Hey, if everyone catches the despair disease, we won't be able to do anything about it anymore, you know? This is bad. You're right. There's no way we should allow it to spread. H hold on a second. Hey, hey. Settle on the band bomb. Band bomb! I'm gonna call it the band shotgun. Call it whatever you want. Let's heck this boy up. Isolation. You mean we need to quarantine them inside the hospital, right? Ch Chiaki, don't tell me you also agree with this. What's wrong? It's to prevent a killing. As long as that disease is Monokuma's motive, if we just ignore it, a killing will happen again. To prevent that, we should also prevent the disease from spreading. That's why we need to quarantine them. Like... Even if we quarantine them, who's gonna take care of them? <laughs> Mikan's gonna stay here anyway. She's been touching the infected all over, so it's possible she already caught the disease. But there's no way we can leave her by herself. Hey. Then why don't you say too, huh? huh? Now that I think about it, you touched them when you took the temperature, right? Oh. <laughs> so, I'll leave the rest up to you. Contact me if something happens. Contact you? How are we supposed to do Jeez. that? Oh, right. We need to think of a way to communicate. If we keep meeting in person, we can catch the disease. Thank you. So, I'll let you handle that, Kazuichi. Uh, yeah, I got it. Fine. But Bugs are still on the island, so quarantine shouldn't do anything. You right. Front not. We are too, uh, We are not going to abandon you. I shall station myself nearby in case anything happens. N nearby? There is a motel on this island. Till this matter is resolved, we shall stay the night there. Aww. What? Do we have to really... Do we really have to stay at such a dirty place? What are we supposed to do if we can't immediately get here if something happens? 
And also, if that disease is airborne, the hotel on the first island may already be unsafe. We must be vigilant about protection! I have those who I must protect! Oh, I've like stuffed up my nose by shouting like that. I don't know how. Excuse me. Ah, oh, it's just hamsters, dude. I'll destroy you. That is an unkind thing to say, you fiend! How dare you call my four dark divas of destruction hamsters? Jeez. Uh, fine, I'll stay at the motel, okay? Jeez, how annoying. <laughs> Protect the boyos. Even if it's quarantine, we're still gonna have to be on the same island, so just call us if anything happens. Huh? Perfect. What are, you, what are you frustrated I don't for? Like this. this is obviously a trap. Monokuma's goal is to separate us as a group. Is it really okay for us to fall for that? So, it's not like we're stopping being friends. I just don't want a killing to happen again. We can't prevent that if we can't prevent that if everyone gets sick, you know. You know, right? Yeah, that's right, man. There's no way we're gonna lose together here, you know. That's right. Now I feel like in a corner we just have to have a box in the he will ban weapons. <laughs> just freaking like in the back, I just open like a gigantic cardboard box. They're like throwing out like machetes, katanas, steak knife. You got your chainsaw. You got a weed whacker. You got a bolt cutter. You got a crowbar. You got a just a magic wand that's not actually magical, but you can just stab someone's eye out. <laughs> you got a Wii remote. You got nunchucks, but they aren't actually nunchucks. They're just the nunchucks that go on the Wii. Hey, Hyoko. What did you say to me earlier? Something about me being the first one to get cut off? And? Well, what's wrong with that? Huh. This this must be the moment. It's not like Mikan and Hajime are enough people. You. Are you saying you're going to stay here too? Just propane full of barium and nitrogen. <laughs> huh? You too? <laughs> This life of mine is a spare anyway. Fine then, do whatever you want. Hey, Fioko. Fuyuhiko, are you sure? Might be endangering yourself, you know? Jeez. Hey, don't need me repeat myself. Hey, hey. You're, you're really, really okay with this? Then I'm gonna leave the rest up to you too. <laughs> whatever happens over whatever, whatever's happening over here, just leave it to us. We'll make sure to keep the disease from spreading. Come on, shouldn't you guys head over to the motel before you catch the disease? I'm sorry. I- I'm sorry we are forcing this upon you like this. N no, what everyone's saying is true, so it's okay. Thanks. You got a spoon in there as well, you just like- <laughs> The extremely ineffective murder with- No, it's the extremely slow murder with an extremely ineffective weapon. I forget the name of that video, something along that fact. Ban boomerang. Just throw it, it comes right back at you, cuts your head off. Got a bunch of butter knives and forks just in case you want something less aggressive. How about, how would you like to get banned? We have a shotgun, a nuke, a chainsaw, a scissors, crowbar, a tank. We even like have like a cyber bomb where it's like we just destroy your computer to begin with. So you aren't banned. It's just that your computer's destroyed so you can't like even turn it on to like join the stream. Thank you, both of you. I won't let your feelings go to waste. We'll make sure to find out the mystery of the despair disease while you're all here. I think. I think, probably. I I'd rather prefer if she had a more confident sounding catchphrase. Um. Now I think I shall excuse myself. I'm counting on you. <laughs> then I'll make sure to figure out some way to communicate later. Bye. Nuke em, baby! Bye-bye! Uh. Do your best to try to stay alive. And just like that, the other just left, leaving me and Fuyuhiko at the hospital. I never expected it would turn out like this. Jeez. It's not like it's their fault, it's that Monokuma's fault. I can't believe it actually arranged something as irritating as a disease. Uh, hello? Ah, uh, thank you for waiting. <laughs> Phew, they finally changed. Okay, something is buzzing. Oh, it's 420, send a yeet. Hold on, let me send a yeet. Real quick. Worst person to be locked in a room with. Here's the thing. Overall, 30 games. I feel like you're right. I feel like you're right. I was gonna say Nagito. But I feel like you'd be able to, like, 
drown that out eventually like just like get used to it and it's basically like background noise at the that point if i had to say the second okay my second most hated person of the series might be territor but my third probably is angie from the third game and we'll see that once we get around to it but if we're talking like all-time hated that is up there now i'm trying to think of someone from the first game that it actually like i absolutely could not stand uh, i mean fumi was annoying but he wasn't the worst okay jojo i know i said that byakua was an unforgivable character but no siaka was amazing oh siaka okay i thought you were i thought you were talking about sakura i was like sakura is amazing and you could fight me on that siaka is again not the worst byakua is up there but he definitely redeemed himself at the end the girl that tried to frame you from murder in the first game, yep, that's her. Uh, why is it just you two? Huh? Um, you know. I know, they must have left to get fruits to bring back later. Uh, everyone is so kind, I'm so glad that everyone is so thoughtful towards their friends. Well. Uh, well, like I said- Oh, Celeste? Yeah. Celeste is up there. Celeste is probably no my number four. Cause I liked her. I liked Celeste. Until it yeah, until she's revealed as the killer. I feel like Celeste okay. If you were locked in a room with Celeste, I feel like it would be tolerable. But just on a hated character level, she is up there for me. Cause the reason that she get like she manipulates the murder of two people and gets innocent person killed because she lies about getting uh, assaulted and possibly sexually assaulted and that is scum right there that is straight scum right there like I like I like her as a character up till that point because honestly like I was having a good time with her I liked her throughout most of the like throughout most of the first game and then it hit that point I'm like oh I forgot that was her reason I hate her was that yeah <laughs> it was a pretty dumb plan it really was I'm honestly not sure if at that point whether she just wanted to get the money or she just wanted to take as many people down with her but yeah i don't like her i don't like her at all but we'll we'll continue mikan is out also up there right now i mean she's annoying but not the worst i feel like if you just annoy mikan she'll just like cry in the corner and you can like do whatever you need to do okay anyway let's continue well like i said <laughs> we're all equals when we're sick let's all work together and do our very best Hajime, I'm sorry, but uh, I'll let you handle the explanation. That's quite the burden I have to bear. Oh, Toko? Yeah, she's annoying. Okay, I'm gonna get shot for this. But I kind of like Genocide Jill. Just because she's an entertaining character. She has killed thousands of people. But she's an entertaining character. <laughs> I actually did one of my free times with her, even though it like did nothing. Genocide Jill is great. Okay, also I will say, although we are taking a break from Ding and Rampa after uh, we're done with this game, once we jump into uh, Ultra Despair Girls, Toko makes a reappearance. I will say that right now. Toko makes a reappearance. Um. That's not a spoiler, because she, it's literally at the beginning, and Toko comes back with a, 
Toko slash Genocide Jill comes back. I will spoil nothing else because I accidentally spoiled myself for something. Uh, I don't know almost anything about it. Yeah, it's on the box covers, no spoils. Um, I, I don't know anything about it. I know one thing because I accidentally spoiled myself because I'm subscribed to the r slash Danganronpa subreddit and I forgot that Ultra Despair Girls existed. So I got spoiled for, on some stuff there. But I don't know the overall story and I don't know some of the I don't know most of the twists. Uh, so we should be good in that department. It spoils anything. Yeah. Dude, I was so hyped for V3. I I stayed away from all playthroughs. I stayed away from even looking it up. I stayed away from any walkthroughs, any videos, anything related to Danganronpa. I didn't go on the subreddit. I didn't look it up because I didn't want anything spoiled. Even when I, my friend actually looked it up and spoiled herself, I yelled at her any time that it was going to be a possible spoiler or anything related to it because I wanted to go in dark. And it was the best experience of all the Danganronpa games probably I've had because I got spoiled to the ending of the first game, spoiled to some of the ending of the second game, but uh, the spoiling at the end of the second game, it takes like the thing that I got spoiled to completely like took a back seat to so many other twists that got revealed. It's the most brutal game? Really? V3 is definitely the most brutal game, and like, I love V- I- I love this- I love the second one. But the more I think about V3, the more I think it might be my favorite game of the series. Because the- the murders are well done, the- executions are fantastic the characters are great i love everyone like the ending i get why it's controversial but the more i think about it the more i really enjoy it it's the most depressing one of the entire series and it it's so much different it, it's weird like the reason why i want to leave v3 at the very end and not play like ultra despair girls last because even though that's like the like one that no one cares about, I want to leave V3 last, because I feel like there's a definite split in between the second game and the third game. It's weird. It's the same concept. It's the same. It's 16 wacky characters put into a killing game situation, whatever, but it takes on a completely different tone. And I really like it for that. It takes on a lot more of a serious tone after the first trial, even though it's definitely like still upbeat in a lot of aspects. It is the most depressing one, and I feel like the most impactful of them all. Which is why I like it the most. It like once you finish it, you think about it for a good while. Because, like, once I finished V2, like, V3, I couldn't stop thinking about it. Because, like, dude, I finished at, like, 2 a.m. I woke up the next morning, and I was still thinking about what did I just watch? What, what is, what is an explanation? What did I just see? Is there something that, like, that I could link? What exactly happened? It's great. I can't wait. I can't wait for us to get to it. And I know that I'm going to take a break finish the game about a year ago and still think about it for yeah it's i i really like it and coquite i feel like it's the best one especially with like you have the you have this main antagonist which is monokuma uh and the person hiding behind that and then you have the traitor and everything but you have the character who plays the antagonist throughout the game. The first game was Byakuya, second game it's Nagito. Third game, we'll get to that. But I love the antagonist of the third game. I love him so much. You probably already know, and it'll be fa fairly obvious um, who it is when you like jump into it. I'll just say it's Kokichi. Um, I love him so much. And it's weird. 
most <laughs> most of like most of the antagonists i didn't like byakua i felt like he came off as a selfish jerk nagito is just straight up insane i'm gonna say yes kibo does and he's just lying about it you saw that cutscene with him and me uh miu but Like, Kokichi feels like a real person, and I love him, and we'll get into that once we play it, but I honestly can't wait to freaking play it. So, anyway, so we decided to split up into two groups. You see the playthrough of V3 again to know. It was just regular maintenance, okay? Listen, listen, regular maintenance. Sure. <laughs> we'll get to that. That might be another one where I'll have to like go, okay, I need to hit my one key now. In the hospital, there are three people who caught Monokuma's despair disease. Kani, Nagito, and Ibuki. Um, but... I really freaking like Kokichi. He's probably my favorite character. And okay, I know I I know I'm talking about V3 when we're still in the middle of playing the second one. I've never been on more of an emotional roller coaster with Kokichi. He is a ride. Like, oh my god. I I've never felt so betrayed. I literally like I finished a chapter and I was depressed. I was I like I I know depressed is used, but I was genuinely sad and out of it for the rest of the day and part of the next day. I was honestly not okay and it was fantastic. Okay, anyway, we'll continue. Sorry, there's also me, Khan, who's nursing in the bath to health and has the safeguard for Yuhiko and myself. Altogether, six people are staying in the hospital. Jojo, I will stab you. Chiaki, Gundam, Kazuichi, Sanya, and Hyoko are staying in the motel on the same island. As for Nekomaru, he's not back yet, but... Anyway, until we do something about this despair disease, our current situation is gonna change. But we have no clue what we need to do. Seriously, what should we do? But Ilo is like... Honestly, not okay. We will get to it. Uh huh. I suddenly woke up. If I woke up, that means I fell asleep without realizing. I think I remember something, and I have my hand on the one button as we speak. Earlier, I discussed with Fuyuhiko, we decided to take turns resting. That's right, that's why I came to the on call room of the second floor of the hospital. I haven't been sleeping well the past few days, so suddenly drowsiness overtaken. If I see a transition, I'm pressing it. I was asleep, which is a good thing, but my body feels... <sighs> no, it's not just heavy. It feels somehow soft and... Switch! Yep, there we go! Switch! It... You're good Christian eyes are not allowed to see this. Good Christian eyes are not allowed to see this. I am going to take a screenshot so I can send it in the Discord and then crop out everything unchristian. She is not. She is in a spoon position. Okay, we're good now. Crisis averted. Hajime, are you okay? Your complexion is a bluish purple shade. It might be severe chaotic reaction. Hajime, can you hear me? Get a hold of yourself. Mikan finally got off me, grabbed my shoulders, and began shaking me intensely. Somehow, that was enough to get my consciousness to drift back to reality. Hajime! Ah, oh, Hajime, you've regained consciousness. I I'm so glad I thought you died. M me too, I seriously thought I was gonna die. I thought about taking a rest in the on-call room, but you were already asleep, so... That doesn't mean you can climb on top of me! We're moving on! Hey. 
You, what are you guys doing? For you, Hiko? No, this is, I really hope you don't get the wrong idea. Don't tell me. Where you got? <laughs> Seriously, you got this all wrong? <laughs> We're moving on. Danger, what? When I peeked inside, when I peeked inside his room, it looked like he wasn't breathing. Huh? Huh? <laughs> this is bad. <clears throat> Now's not the time for us to rest. Mikan vigorously leapt out of bed and ran out of the yes. ran out of the call room. Hajime, now it's not the time for you to be. <clears throat> Seriously, I'm not. Huh? We just hold on a second. Hold on a second. Just, just give me a second. Uh, ear rape warning. <gasps> Boy. Okay, we're good. Nagito, please get a hold of yourself. Despite Mikan's sister, please, I didn't see Nikon's reaction. Nagito reacted at all. Don't tell me. There's no E died, right? The body discovery announcement isn't playing, right? He fidget, fidget. He's totally waiting for it. Damn it. This looks very bad. He's hecking dead. Mikan, is Nagito alright? Well, it looks like his breathing has returned. I took out my headphones and threw them on my desk. I still heard that boy. <laughs> really? But still, his condition. But still, his condition is unpredictable, and that's putting it lightly. Hey, hey. How light is that? Is that sweet potato sauce? Well. If so, that's pretty light. <laughs> Please don't interfere. Hey, look, isn't Nagito's mouth moving? You're right, he, he might be trying to say something. <laughs> Nagito, what happened? As she said his name, Mikan slow, uh, softly tilted her ear toward Nagito's lips. What did he say? Um, apparently his condition has improved and he feels quite refreshed. Um, since Nagito, since Monokuma said that Nagito has the liar's disease, he probably means the opposite and he feels really crappy. Like... What's gonna happen if he just dies? We're not gonna have to have a class trial, right? <gasps> Don't talk like that! Nagito is never gonna die! I will save him by any means necessary! I see. I see, I got it. Then I'll leave Nagito's life to you. Yes. Far from her usual self, Mikan responded assertively and went back to attending to Nagito. If we stay here any longer, we might just get in the way. Damn right. Then follow me. Well, you were resting. The goods arrived. I gotta show them to you. The goods aren't something dangerous, right? Takes out just a kilo of cocaine. Anyway. Let's go back to the lobby. It's just an entire brick. Of like A grade marijuana. You can put weed into a brick, right? I was gonna say heroin, but then I said marijuana. That's probably not correct. Whatever. I don't care. Shut up. Hey, Fuyuki, what do you? What did you mean when you said goods? Damn right. Look at top of the reception desk. On top of the reception desk. Oh wow! I wonder the big blinky thingy. Huh, wow, whoa, oh, whoa. Who you think I was talking about this, right? Looks like a monitor in a camera unit. Hey, what is this? Huh. Rip a weed, I'd be impressed. <laughs> You're just like... I don't know how you did, but you did. Imagine someone, like, making a... Someone like makes a weed compost, they like dry out the leaves, they crush them up, and then they like give them to worms. Bro, what would worms do if they ate marijuana? Think about it. Okay, I'll just leave it there. They're best. <laughs> That caught me off guard, oh my god. <laughs> From timing, the blue light's blinking. Does something happen when this blinks? Seeing is believing, they say. Try pressing the button down below the light. Do it. If someone, if you find me something, great. I just have to press the button. Yeah, idiot. I did it before he goes and press the button. All of a sudden, it exploded. I died. What's up? Hey, is this Hashime? <laughs> Loud and clear, looks perfectly connected. Kazuichi, then this is... 
Huh. This chat is amazing. It always is. It's great. We have party. <laughs> God. We already had... Oh, God. Kiro in his high moments. I really need to voice him as more of a high dude. That was amazing. In the Discord. Look in the Discord if you want weed orbs. You know, I feel like... God, I can't imagine. Yeah, that's right. That's the way to communicate he was talking about. All right. Looks like the time for the ultimate mechanic to shine. How about it? This is what I've been working on. <laughs> Remember that alley with all the shading looking street boots? That's where I found this. It's a surveillance camera for a household use, and I just tweaked it a little. <laughs> so now it's basically a video chat device. Well, it's pretty hit or miss. Video, video chat, huh? I get it. All I'm getting is people trying to keep worms from eating their actual garden weeds. Please Google, I'm looking for worms on drugs. <laughs> um, oh no. I found something. Send it, send it. Hold on, now I'm gonna have to. Oh, fudge. God. Oh God, I forgot. Dang it! I forgot to record. Okay, that shouldn't matter. It should be fine. We just won't have the... Um... Sick footage. I'll- I- I should be able to, like, download it from somewhere. Fudge! God, I'm disappointing myself. <laughs> How did I kill yourself after Danganronpa 2? <laughs> oh my god. So apparently caterpillars really love weed plants. Oh my god, how not to kill yourself after Danganronpa 2? Hold on, I'm gonna switch to 1 because I just want to click on this and I don't want spoilers. How to not want to die over fictional characters, step by step guide. Step one, finish the game. The first and most important step is finish the game. If you haven't done that yet, then do that and come back here. Step two, turn off the game. Oh boy, that sure was a roller coaster now, was it? You might want to take a break from the computer after all the heartache because now your life will never be the same. Step three, consider your life choices. Take a step back and ask yourself why. Why have I gotten myself into this hell? Step four, genuinely consider death. You've already come this far, why not? Step 5, don't kill yourself. At this point, you realize that Kodaka isn't done. He's never done torturing the souls of Danganronpa fandom, and there will be more con content in the future, so you decide not to end it all over some fictional characters. Boom, done. A dramatic reading of how not to kill yourself in Danganronpa. Okay. Ah, uh, but I'm so dis- uh, I'm, I'm like genuinely mad at myself for forgetting to record. Marijuana worm. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, I'm disappointed that I, I forgot to hit record while doing it. I- I can- If- the, honestly, I'm just recording so I can have the footage to use for the video, and if I need the footage for the video, I can just find, um, find a playthrough somewhere, and just go like, hey, this is me being an idiot, I forgot to press record. Sure, we don't have to worry about getting infected with That's this. Right. So it may be a hassle, but we'll be contacting each other with this from now on, okay? This was the only the test run this time, so I guess it should be pretty fun. Okay, then see you later. Huh. How's it wish you left this while you were resting? Damn right. The surveillance camera unit comes with a surveillance ca- Wow, the surveillance camera unit comes with a surveillance camera? Whoa! I mean, I can download my stream for later, but the reason why I have two different things is so that I can have just the game and not my face cam. And, like, it should be fine. Like, I I don't have my... Like, it, I might have it... Like, my voice. But I should just be able to, like, edit out all, um... 
audio and just put in whatever music I see is playing at the time. It should be fine. And just go like, hey, I took video from my stream because I screwed up. That should be fine. Anything the camera records is broadcast live to the monitor. So he's prepared so he's prepared two of these sets and swapped each of their cameras. I see by swapping the cameras his monitor will display what's on my camera and vice versa. Apparently also modified it a little. He widened its narrow communication range just beyond just the household Even use. So. Even so, he still has a limit, so apparently the signal can't reach from the hospital to the motel. Then we can't communicate between the hospital and the motel. <laughs> you didn't notice? He was contacting you just now from the music venue near the motel. From there, the signal reaches the hospital with no problems. But they're staying at the motel, right? What if something- what if we can't reach them when we need to? Damn right. I thought the same thing, so we arranged times for us to com contact each other. It's set for- uh, It's set up- mm, I'm just gonna drink again. <clears throat> it's set up for us to communicate 30 minutes after Monokuma's morning and evening announcements. <laughs> Our next contact will be uh, with them is going to be tomorrow morning. Don't sleep in. He's well prepared, as expected of the heir to an enormous organization. Ah. Hmm? What is it? Nothing. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now A body has been PM. discovered! Psych, it's actually just me. Please Nathan. return to your rooms and relax. Now then. Bro, just imagine it's like he pretends that now it's just like a nighttime announcement. It's like, oh, actually, a body's been discovered. Idiots. That time already, huh? Now then, where should I sleep tonight? <laughs> Are you planning to use the on call room with a certain someone again? Like I said, it's not what it looked like. You guys. Hey, hey, aren't you misunderstanding? <laughs> a hospital is a facility for sick people, it's not for lodging of or young romantic tyrus, you know? Y you two, what are you talking about? Like oh, I see. Your generation has fallen out of the habit of looking at bulletin boards. Come on, take a look at the bulletin board. There's a notice on it there, right? A notice on the bulletin board? The bulletin board notice. Is he talking about this? Hospital precautions. Eating and drinking is forbidden within the hospital building. If patients do not need to be accompanied, overnight stays by non-patients are expressly forbidden. In other words... Right. It's not like you don't often see inside hospitals. You can't stay overnight here. What are you saying? There's one patient who needs to be accompanied. Hmm. Oh, you're talking about Nagito, right? Being... They'll allow just one person to accompany him. The rest of you need to hurry up and get out of here. Jeez. Hospital precautions, my ass. You should have said so sooner. Only one person can stay the night, and there's no way we can make Mekon leave. Jeez, you're I guess we have no choice. We should head back to our cottages then. You're right, even if we stay here, we probably won't be able to do anything. Leave it with no context. Don't explain it. After explaining the circumstances of Mekon, we decide to go back to our cottages for the time being. So, Fuyuhiko and I are going to be the only ones sleeping in our cottages tonight. I am a little worried. No, the ones who were stuck in the hospital should be more worried. What's the point of me getting so worried? Alright, when I wake up tomorrow, I'll go to the hospital right away. I feel bad leaving me kind of alone. Excuse me, sorry. I guess for now I should try to get some sleep. Monokuma Good evening! It's time for Monokuma's cooking class! Today, we're going to learn how to make tayaki. The first thing you need is a time machine. We will travel back in time to the Meiji period and meet a person named Sergio Kanbi. He used to bake and sell turtle-shaped pastries, but unfortunately, they never sold all that well. It's important that you gently cheer him up because he's going to be disappointed in himself if, when you meet him. From there, get serious and insist he try making his pastries fish-shaped because they'll sell better. Once that happens, he'll happily bake his pastries in the shape of fish. Gotta head out and get some work done. Good luck with the murder. See ya. See ya, hell. Have a good rest of your day. What is he just... Yes. I want to see that with Chihiro. I mean, not Chihiro, too. Chiaki. Again, I feel like her character would be so much better if she had at least one character flaw of constantly getting really mad at games. 
That's a final touch. Name these pastries Tiaki. Okay, with this, you're finished making Tiaki. This concludes Monokuma's cooking class. Just turns into sounds. Ahem. Oh, good morning, everyone. Looks like today is gonna be another perfect I would ascend. I need that as like. Let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to. I need that as like a mod, where it like changes some of her like dialogue. I'm worried about Mika and the others, so she should hurry over to the hospital. Moment I got out of bed, I immediately left my cottage and headed over to the hospital. Yo, yo, you came early today. You're the one who's early. Damn right. Well, I just got here. So what should we do? There's still a little time before we need to make contact. Want to go to Nagito's room and check up on him? Yeah, I'm worried about how he's doing. Worry? Why do I have to worry about a guy like him? Still. There's a Buki's room, there's Nagito's room. God. I like stuffed myself up somehow. Mikan, how's Nagito doing? Uh, same as usual. No, actually, it might be worse than yesterday. I know. This is bad. Are you serious? His pulse is extremely weak. He might slip into a critical condition sometime today. Is he that sick? <laughs> but as long as I'm his nurse, I will never let Nagito die. Ever. I do understand how you feel, but don't overexert yourself, okay? Hey, Hashime, it's almost time to start the connection. We need to head over to the lobby. Found. Dude, send it. I don't care. Send it. Or at least DM it to me. I want to see it. I want to see heated Chiaki moments. After being reminded about how, of how powerless I am, I left Nagito's room. What am I supposed to do? Oh, talk to him. That'd probably be a good idea. Damn right. It's time to start the transmission. Let's hurry over to the lobby. There might be an update. I haven't gotten, like, a good idea of exactly what the incoming signal like is blinking. I haven't gotten an exact idea of what Fuyuhiko's voice is. I've just kind of been now using my voice, but slightly varied. Looks like they're already waiting. Let's hurry up and start the connection. Hey, you're right. Press the button underneath the blinking light, and the monitor is being lit up. Looks like the camera and the monitor had no problem making the connection. Soon enough, a familiar face showed up on the other side of the monitor. What's up? Hello, how is it? Can you see my handsome face? Yeah, I can see you real clear. <laughs> We're good on our end too. I can totally see your broke ass face. <laughs> Might be best if I tell the others about Nagito's condition. Hey, are you the only one over there? Nope. Nope, we're all here except for Hyoko. What happened to Hyoko? <laughs> it seems we're all in a pure enemies to the eyes of that coward. Um... Kazumichi when he gets his airpods. <laughs> she has locked herself in her room. She said from the other side that the d door that said from the other side of the door that she won't come out until the despair disease has been cured. She's even being cautious around the others in the motel, huh? Looks like they're also in a testy situation. Hey, hey. So how about you? How are you guys doing? Yeah, about that. To tell you the truth, Nagito is actually in serious danger. Ooh. I already know he's in serious danger. No, not that. He's seriously wandering the border between life and death. What? What did you say? However, but he's going to be okay, right? Nagito is going to get better. Hey, hey. First Nakamura, now Nagito. This ain't funny at all. Well, for now we. Well, for now we really can't say. Yes. You really can't say? That's impossible. Monomi, why are you on that um... side? Cause it'd be dangerous if I got close to the hospital, since I don't even know what go what's going on there. You're really pissing me off. Like, what does a stupid stuffed animal need to be cautious about a disease? Please don't discriminate. That despair disease is horrible. It's a dangerous disease that can even destroy this island. So until we figured out how to deal with it, I will be on this side. 
before I could respond to Monami, Fuyuhiko would cut the connection. Don't fuck with me! That stupid stuffed animal! She seriously annoyed me! <sighs> I'm gonna cool off. Fuyuhiko practically spat those words before he went outside. Anyway, all we can do now is wait. Just wait patiently until the situation improves and changes for the better. That's why we waited patiently. Because waiting patiently is the only thing we could do. We waited patiently. On a side note, I can't relax. Why can't I relax while I'm in a hospital? Pace back and forth around the hospital lobby. Fuyuhiko entered and left the hospital many times. And time kept, just kept passing by. It is now. Please return to your room now, Ben. Sweet. Damn it. Feels like a lot of stuff got skipped over and now it's nighttime already. It's almost time for tonight's transmission. Jeez. Should go back to our cottages when that's done. It's annoying to keep going back and forth, though. But before we go back, can we check on Nagito one more time? Go for it. Leave this transmission Jeez. thing to me. They're not going to have a new clue anyway. I can handle this. Then I'll leave it to you. Just walk in, Mikon has just like a pillow over Nagito's face. Is that what it looks like? Oh god. Whoa, Buki? W what are you doing here? You need to be resting. Yes. To tell you the truth, I've been going, getting quite bored doing nothing but sleeping. Also, it would be just terrible if I slept all the time, so I was hoping I could help with you with anything. Because it's better if I'm sleeping, correct? Yeah, just get some rest for now. It'd be a big help if you got better soon. Understood. Yes, understood. That's kind of scary. I hope she gets better real soon. There's no pillow over the face. That's a good sign. We can't see focused on caring for Nagato. She hasn't even noticed I entered the room. Has she been caring for him this whole time? Hey, Mikan. Hey, Mikan. No matter how many times I talk to her, she's not responding. Her back is turned toward me as she's focused on caring for Nagito. I peeked over Mikan's shoulder and said, Hey, Mikan, are you okay? Yeah! Looks like you finally noticed. God, please don't describe surprise me. Uh, Moving over that. Uh, did you come by to check over Nagito? I just wanted to see how he was doing, but you look pretty tired too. Isn't it better if you get a little rest? Um, um, I hope I'm not mistaken, so that'd be really embarrassing. Are you by chance worried about me? Y yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I remember this moment till the day I die. <laughs> I'm starting to get my energy back, so, I am so I'll get back to taking care of Nagito. I hope she understood what I said. But she's working so hard, it'd be bad if I kept getting in her way. That's exactly how I felt, so I decided to just shut up and go back to the lobby. Yo! Yo, is Nagito doing? I'm even more worried about Mikan than Nagito. She looks like she's had no time to rest. Damn it. Nagito's is probably not doing too well. What about you? Are you guys done with the transmission? Jeez. As I expected, we wrapped it up quickly like they had nothing new to report. They are apparently trying to find a cure somehow, but there hasn't been any progress. So on both our ends, it looks like we had no results. Jeez. Oh well, let's go pathetic. forward. On, let's look forward to tomorrow. With a depressingly heavy mood riding on our back, we headed back to our cottages. Sigh. Well, where's the piled up so high that one sigh isn't enough? And the more I think about it, it's like I'm slowly being sucked deeper and deeper into an endless pit. I guess for today, I should. Just go to sleep. It's best if I not dwell on it too much. And not just that. First thing in the morning, I need to go to the hospital again. I keep telling myself that as I sighed one last time. Slowly close my eyes. Out of the blue, a hazy scene began to take shape. From the depths of my consciousness, it slowly took its time. Hazily. Like watercolor paint suspended in water. Slowly, hazily. There was a classroom from somewhere. A classroom that I've seen before. But I don't know where. Yeah, I have my I have my hand on it now. I can hear voices. Somebody's talking. Did you hear is an amazing? Apparently he's been accepted into Hope Speak Academy. But was he that exceptional? There are noises. 
I'm dully staring out the window, pretending not to listen. I don't want to listen. But even if I don't want to listen, the noises leap into my ears. Huh, you don't know? Huh, know what? Apparently you don't have to be, get be exceptional to get into Hope Speak Academy. But it's an academy who only recruits only exceptional students from around the world, right? I wanted to cover my ears. I wanted to run to the place I deserve to be, not here. To the place where I can be more confident. Wow, well, I knew that way was possible, so he's the same too? Obviously. I mean, he doesn't have any special talents that Hope Speak Academy would be interested in. He's just a normal guy who can be found anywhere. Well, admiring the Academy is free, so it must be tough for parents who have to write the check. Leave me alone. I just, just want to become someone who's actually confident in myself. What's this anyway? Who are they talking about? Why can't I remember? Who am I? What's Marie Antoinette syndrome? Hey, hey. Did you know that talking about a personal failure is a good way to break the ice when meeting new people? So I'm gonna tell you a story of my personal failure. In the wild world that I live in, popularity is the symbol of power. That's why I decided to write a fake love letter to myself so I could brag about it to others. I was bragging about it to my friend, but unfortunately all I had was an envelope. When my friend wanted to show him the unwritten letter, I was in a real bind. So I showed him a blank piece of paper and said this. This letter was written with special ink. Only those shows of my god can see it. Oof, big oof. <laughs> Why well, I said that? He was all, that love le letter is brimming with passion. However, things took, lo started looking bad at that point. The other people around us started praising him because they thought he could really read the letter. That's when he started hogging everyone's attention as a divine messenger of God. And eventually he was worshipped by society. Now he uses his followers to sell shady vases for a quick buck. Thanks to my big mouth, he became a multi-millionaire. How regretful. What an epic fail. Epic gamer moments number 173. That was my story of personal failure. What do you think of it? Is the ice broken? Since you listen to me, want to buy this vase? It's pretty high in demand, but I'll give you a deal on it just because I like you so much. Welp. Welp is the right word for that. Hmm, it's morning. Huh, and my hand is on the one. But for some reason, my body's heavy. No, not just heavy, it's somewhat soft and really hot. Wait a minute! Transition! I, I can't believe it! All I'm thinking right now is the voice actor having to like do the lines. I don't know, I just find it funny. He's just like choking himself having to do it. switch back over. Ah, uh, Jimmy's gone limp! Please get a hold of yourself! Ugh. Ah, he's regained consciousness? Oh, I'm so glad I thought you died from suffocation! M Mikan, why are you... Why are you here? The Matakuma announcement hasn't aired yet. Uh, now that you mention it, I came here to wake you up, but it seems like I accidentally fell asleep. W what kind of accident is that? What? But good news, you see, Nagito's condition is stabilized. Really? And I rushed over to let you guys know before Hiko's room was locked, so... Oh yeah, my lock is still broken. Thanks, Ibuki! Yes. Anyway, please hurry over. Nakito can probably be saved! Yeah, you got it. I quickly got dressed and headed over to the hospital with Nikon. Although I did wonder why it was necessary to be so pumped up for someone like Nagito. Oh well, best not to think about it. Toes in his patient's room. Hurry up and see how he's doing. Excuse me. Skirt. Mm -hmm. 
There I saw Nagito, who managed to sit up in his bed. Nagito, can you hear me? Hachime came by to see how you were doing. Because he's a jerk. He's insane. He's already manipulated one person committing murder. The twin Ibukis are singing. I see Ibuki must have, ha must have been a twin duo. <laughs> the Veronicas! Is he supposed to be cured? It's not like he's completely cured. <clears throat> he, he was just able to recover from his critical condition. <clears throat> they were utilizing their characteristic as twins. They've been taking turns appearing before me. Which means there are actually 17 people on this island. <laughs> the Veronicas, that's the answer. Hmm. After seeing this, it might have been better if he stayed quiet for just a little bit longer. <clears throat> Listen! Okay, listen, <laughs> you have a point, <laughs> but listen, I don't like Nagito, because I feel like he, like, has lost complete control and you're talking to a pure madman, Kokichi feels like Concise, I guess. I'm trying to think of the right word for it. It feels intentional, everything that he does. But listen, okay? <laughs> it Also, their intentions, I feel, are different. Nagito is kind of, like, warmed up to me. I still don't like him, but he's warm to me. I don't like, like, I, I, I hate him less than I did. I, I, I hate him less, okay? I'm glad. I'm so relieved not to regain consciousness. I'm so glad. I feel dizzy somehow. Everything is spinning around me. Shouldn't you get some rest already? You should be exhausted from nursing without any sleep, right? Then um, if you insist, I'll use the on-call room upstairs. You must be mentally exhausted, so it'd be better if you relax in the lobby instead. Yeah, I'll do that. Um... Mind you, I love both. Nagito is growing on me. I just- Kokichi is still my favorite character. I'd probably say, in all of the games, Kokichi is still probably my favorite character. Then, even though it's the morning, good night. Mikan wobbled around a bit, then left the room. She's definitely exhausted. Well, it's understandable. I mean, she fell asleep when she was supposed to come wake me up. Man. All alone with Hajime, huh? I can't stand being in the same room as you. Don't worry, I'm leaving. You should focus on curing the- Disease of yours. Aww. 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 That's kind of sweet. That's honestly kind of sweet. I don't think I noticed that the first time. Aww, Nagito, you might be a sociopath, but I like you. Okay, I've officially unhated Nagito. Okay? You happy? What's hip and happening, folks? Welcome to the stream, Kylie. How you doing? That that kind of just won me over. That's sweet. That's really sweet. I like that. You might be a bad guy, but you're sweet. Not for two hours, boys. Morning, Mon- Good morning, Monokuma announced. Switch should be starting to do it. should wait in the lobby for the transmission. Huh? No, it's because- It's because he has the liar's disease. And because he's the liar's disease, he's saying everything- Like, it's basically opposite day. Is Joe still here? Probably not, but uh, things are about to pick up, so hold on to your butts. Things are about to uh, get real, folks. Um, yeah, but the surveillance camera unit's light is blinking. But that's weird, it's not transmission time yet. Oh no, 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 I just remembered. Oh no! 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 If the light is winking, you see some sort of transmission from the other side, right? Ah! 
God, no, I like I remembered it, but it just kind of hit. Oh, it's early. We haven't received the Monokuma announcement yet. Might be something urgent, though. If so, there's no way I can make them wait until Fuyuhiko gets here. All right, even if it's just me, I should receive the transmission. I reach my hand and press the reception button on the surveillance camera unit. Huh? Upon first glance, I immediately kn knew it wasn't a normal video. A slowly swaying dim light is shining on the black curtains. It felt like some sort of ritual was about to begin. Is this light from a candle? But w what I saw creepiest of all was a rope hanging from the ceiling. The end of the rope was tied in a loop, and below it there was a stepladder. It was like a gallows. <sighs> what is this? I didn't understand at all what was going on at the music venue. And then that's when it happened. The moment I saw a silhouette slowly entering the frame from the side of the screen, chills ran down my spine as if someone was dragging ice on me. A person wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head. God, my my skin just started to tingle and my hands have started to sweat. What the? As I raised my voice in surprise, the person in the hospital gown slowly started moving. Whoops, the heck is dead. Everyone, place your votes now. It's time to play the game of Who's Hacking Dead? Okay, let me find the poll. Let me load the poll. Let me... Start! Who will die? It's that time again, fools. And began climbing the stepladder. Slowly, slowly, they took their time climbing it. They reached over to the rope hanging from the ceiling. Are, are you kidding me? And at that moment? Huh? The screen suddenly went pitch black. Probably because the candle, the only source of light, had gone out. H hey! No matter what I said, there was no response from the darkness on the other side of the monitor. What, what the heck is this? What's going on? W what in the world is going on? No, it doesn't matter. I have to do something about this. I might still be able to make it. I need to hurry over to the mu music venue. I rushed out of the hospital and ran over to the music venue where the transmission was made. Ahem! Hope's good morning, everyone! Now then, let's show some... In Just now, that was the morning Monokuma announcement. Fuyuhiko should be arriving here shortly. No, I don't have time to wait for him. I gotta get to the music venue. Uh, yeet. Now's not the time for laughing matters! Someone's dead! Okay, the name is still good, but- Ugh! Please, please let me make it. I rushed to the music venue with a prayer in my heart. But I completely forgot. Prayer means nothing on this island. I was too late. What is this? The hot air inside the music venue. I couldn't keep myself from shouting. Hot air? Why is it so hot? What is this strange hot air in the music venue? No, not now's not the time to worry about that. More importantly, why isn't anybody coming? What's everyone doing? The body discovery announcement? That's right. There hasn't been an announcement yet. That's why nobody's noticed yet. Th then I need to hurry I and let the others know. From here, the motel is close by. There should be a lot of able-bodied people who can help me there. I, I should hurry. Stop it! Stop it! Nisa! <laughs> Nisio! Stop! 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 <laughs> hey, somebody get out here! As soon as I arrived at the motel, I started shouting for help as loud as I could. I was wondering who was making such an infernal racket, so it was you. Gundam, something awful has happened. What? Don't tell me! Do you intend to spread the pathological bacteria so you can take us all down with you? I won't, I won't let, you. let you! If you want to pass, you must defeat me first! Um... What happened? Is there a problem? Fighting is not allowed! It's worse than trouble. There's a body! Huh? Did you hear me? A body was found! Could it be? B body? Yeah. Could it be you intend to spread lies like Nagito in order to confuse us Hold all? It. Hold it. 
Hajime, is it true? Of course it is, isn't it obvious? Chucky, you've not seen Nagito's condition, yes? This fiend just has the same symptoms as him. There's no way we can check it. We shouldn't check it out. Because if Hajime is telling the truth, that needs to happen again, right? A uh, killing? If it's, that's true, we need to check it out. If that's the case, I will not stop. Leave this to me. Leave this place to me, and you fiends go on ahead. <laughs> There's no need to worry. I will catch up with you easily. Um, that sounds like famous last words. Chucky, can you go? Yeah, it'd be better if we hurry, right? Leave here? Yep. Hajime! Hajime! Mikon, why are you here? Uh, Perfect timing! Please help us, Hajime! H help us? Hey, hey. Ah, uh, uh, Hajime, someone's coming from over there. Mm -hmm. Hajime, Chiaki, wh what are you guys doing here? Fukiko, why are you here no too? Shit. Isn't it obvious I'm looking for a buki? Looking for a buki? Um, I was planning to rest in the all call room, but I wanted to check on everyone before I did that. And Ibuki's sick from the hospital all of a sudden. Huh? Perhaps. So what Hajime was saying earlier. Everyone, let's hurry. Huh? Huh? Hurry where? To the music venue. Don't ask, just follow me. Music venue? <laughs> Is Ibuki going to be there? My, my wound hasn't completely healed yet. Don't make me run too much. Hey. Is Ibuki inside here? The only way to know is to go inside and confirm that hang body is really Ibuki. Let's go. Clench my teeth and reach my hand towards the door. Huh? huh? What the heck? Why is it locked? Th that doesn't make sense. I mean, I was just able to go there through here just a few minutes ago. <laughs> Then why don't we try another entrance? No. Nope. This is the only entrance in the music in here. There isn't even a window we can go through. But why is it locked? Hmm. I understand it myself, but... Let's go. We won't open this. The only thing we can do is force our way through. Mm -hmm. wonder if that's going to be possible. If the four of us, two of us are girls, you know? It's got nothing to Doesn't do Doesn't matter if you can do it or not. We have to try. Damn right. Let's go. We're all in charge of, at the same time. Ready, set, <gasps> go! After your eco signal, we charge at the door full force. Oh, the door moved! Maybe it'll open easily after all. Yep. Yeah, even with two girls here. Alright, one more time! After your eco signal, we charge at the door one more time. It was like a live performance that just ended. That moment of silence just before the audience breaks out in thunderous applause. And a few minutes after that silence, a scream surfaced. <laughs> Y'all want a two-for-one deal? Because you got yourself a two-for-one deal. Oh, that There wasn't just a hanging body. There was also another body. A suspended body belonging to Hyoko. And it's deadly lifetime. Okay. Y'all are gonna hate me. And I'm gonna get shanked for this. However, I'm gonna end the stream here. I know I've only been live for an hour and a half, but if we jump into the investigation, that's going to be another hour, hour and a half or so. So, I honestly want to leave it for Saturday. Like, I, I want to do it Friday or Saturday so I can, like, play through the entire thing. Um... Because I know if I jump into the investigation, it's just going to be even longer. So, I'm going to end it here. So, but first of all, yeah, Abuki, best girl, is dead. And uh, Hyoko, trash, worst girl, is dead. So, that's great. God, I wanted to get Abuki done. I thought I had one more day so I could, like, finish it. But I didn't. No. Will never be a true member of her music club. Lord Edith and Lord Yoink it away. Oh, fudge! Dang it! I'm gonna have to like watch her stuff now because I want to like make sure, like, I just want to see what happened because I missed it. I missed it. She's second dead. But, um, I will be live tomorrow. 
I will be setting up the Elgato after the stream tomorrow because I just ordered the RCA to HDMI adapter yesterday, and it should be coming in um, tomorrow. It, it should be coming in tomorrow. I'll probably, like, when I get home, it'll probably be here. But I want to, like, set everything up, and I don't want to, like, wait for the stream to, like, start at 4 or so. So what I will be playing tomorrow is Baba Is You which is a puzzle game that I was going to play the game today. A puzzle game that I was going to play today, but I wanted to play Danganronpa instead because I freaking really wanted to play it. I just really wanted to. Um, so tomorrow we'll be playing uh, Baba Is You. And then Wednesday or Thursday, if I do anything. Thursday, I probably won't be doing anything. Wednesday, I might not be doing anything either. I'm not sure. I'll get to you guys on that. But Friday, I'm going to let you guys decide whether you guys want to have a Wii stream or whether you guys want to have a uh, Danganronpa stream. And if we do the Wii stream, I will be playing probably my favorite childhood game of all time. And it is a game that I've played... All the way to completion, I've played multiple times, um, and it 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 like probably playing it uh, as a teenager is probably gonna like ruin some of it and ruin some of the puzzles and stuff or the difficulty of it. Um, but I really want to play it because I just remember it being really really good and me really loving it. I kind of want to leave it a secret because it's kind of stupid. It kind of is stupid. But I want to play it. So we'll be doing that. So I'll let you guys decide if you guys want to see Danganronpa Friday or if you guys want to see um, uh, we on Friday. And I should have everything set up by then. So thank you guys. That's that's it for announcements. Thank you guys so much for watching and being here. This has been intense. I'm sorry for ending it like this. Uh, sorry, not sorry. But um, with that, I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys so much for being here and for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!